Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are doing it on my first ever modern deck, 8-Rack. So, as you, I'm not sure if everyone knows exactly the point of this deck, but it's essentially to try and kill your opponent with the Rack, which is a card where when your opponent has zero cards to hand, it deals three, one, it deals two, two, it deals one, etc. It's all X minus three. So that's the whole point of this deck. It's a discard deck. Uh, it was the first modern deck I ever played, and, you know, the main, main reason I fell in love with Liliana the Veil. So I am super excited to try this out again. I saw it on a 5-0, and I was, you know, looking at it. I saw a Sword the Mirthless, which looks really sweet in this deck. Although you typically don't really want to go past 4 mana. This gives you a reason. Another thing I was a little bit sketched out about, which I might honestly change before the league starts, is No Castle, uh, Ard or Castle... The, the Black Castle, whatever that is. I do see a Bajuka Bog, which is interesting, but also Defile seems pretty cool right now. I do think this card's probably pretty sweet, especially with Murktide going around, and Urborg maybe can, you know, push it over the top better than uh, Fatal Push, but Funeral Charm, also really good. Really good against, um, oh god, Ragavan and DRC, so I'm super excited to get into this league. Uh, I actually am going to change uh, this Bajuka Bog to a Castle, whatever it's called, but uh, anyways, I'll see you all in the first match. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all there. All right, we are here for the first match. And uh, as you all know, 8-Rack, I believe you should always go on the draw. So we're going to say no. And our opponent's probably going to be confused, but uh, we're not going to be confused because we know what we're on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, starting hand's a little weak. Funeral Charm and Shrieking Inflection. But we do have an Urza Saga, so I'm going to keep this. And we have a Funeral Charm for something early and uh, explosive. So maybe like a Ragavan or something like that. Mm, what is this? Senior Visions. This might be Jessica I Phoenix again. Uh, th 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 this deck's kind of popular. Not like particularly sold that it's part like that great, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we're just going to play a Rack. And say go. I don't think this is control, but if it is, Urza Saga will be very good. If not, you know, it's whatever. Nether Spirit, also pretty weak here in this matchup. Uh, if that, if this is uh, Phoenix. Okay, Prismatic ending, we have, uh, <laughs> we have a few racks, so I think we're okay with that. We, we have a lot of racks, I should say, actually. <laughs> yep, triple rack start. So this can only get one more rack out of our main deck, I believe. Let me just, I don't know why I didn't do this. But let's check just to make sure. Uh, we have a Nile Spellbomb, so that's pretty pretty good, actually. They're saying go. Well, that's good for us. We're just going to get a Nile Spellbomb, make a uh, Karn Struct. And uh, yeah, we're looking pretty sweet. Pretty swag-tastic. Oh no. No! Um, so problem, we don't really have much discards. Uh, we do have a discard, we just don't have, oh no, double phoenix. Oh god. Well, we tried hard, team. They have three phoenixes. We tried. <laughs> They had three phoenixes. I mean, what are we going to do about it? Uh, that's brutal. Blah. Uh, I know. The ring light. Santa's coming. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we're not getting Nile Spellbomb. Oops. Guess we are getting Shadow Spear and trying to race this somehow. Um, yeah. And a Demi Lich. Ugh. <sighs> oh, man. All right. Let's float a black here. I don't think making a uh, Karnstruct is going to win us this game. Although, I don't think we can win this game no matter what at this point. Um, their start was kind of insane. Uh, are 
we just dead here? We gain five, go to 16. They can prismatic ending our construct. Um, trying to think. It would probably have to involve us somehow getting them down to one, one or two cards in hand. So let's inquisition them. Uh, but, 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 don't, doesn't really matter. I guess we'll take a salvaging. And I think we have to make them discard now. I don't think, let's see, wait, is this lethal? 10, no, this is actually lethal. Shoot, well, whatever, they don't know. They don't know that they have a bolt in the graveyard, right? They don't know. Sideboard, we have, what, three Surgicals, another Spell Bomb, and a Cage, and Dothy. Seems like pretty good sideboard plan against this deck. Oh, they're tapping out red. Deal. Delio. Um, I guess if we... I feel like they just messed up. They could have just killed us, whatever. They didn't see the line. Hopefully they just consider. No, they're going to Prismatic Indian. Smart. Um, okay, can we win from here? <sighs> I don't think we have any way to make them discard two cards, right? And I don't think that would matter anyways. Um, we can get in there for two, four... Yep, nope, we're just dead, right? Yeah. Tough game, tough game. The The triple phoenix in the bin was very, very good. So uh, let's just bring in our surgicals, Dothy, Cage, Spellbomb, Trim, the Nether Spirit, because we're bringing in creatures. Um, Fatal Push. Uh, Funeral Charm's really not that great here. They're not on... Um, on Ragavan, which is why we want this card. Uh, smallpox might not be the best here either. I think we'll just do this. Trim that for this. So yeah, we're uh, we're hoping that our. Uh, I want to go second again. I'm fine going second. Spellbomb, Soren, Raven's Crime, Dothy. Pretty good start here. Pretty good start. We might honestly play this Saga on turn three, but I don't think we're mulliganing this hand. Very good. Raven's Crime is essentially one of the best cards in the deck. Prevents the Flood, which is nice. Dothy, obviously pretty decent. And Spellbomb, also good. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty decent. Mmm. That's crazy. They missed a land drop. Bend three phoenixes. That was so brutal for us. This is a visions. Ugh. Blah. Boo. Boo you opponent. Two cards on top. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna pain our opponent by making them uh <laughs> have three options. Now, you really shouldn't play this first because, uh, at least online, it's just a pain in the ass, but I kind of want to play it. Not to be a pain in the ass, but uh, to for future cards. Like, we might want to play this Saga on, too, and not leading with this is, uh, it's pretty bad, to say the least. Okay, so they're passing with red mana up. Ooh, Lily's pretty good. Lily is pretty good. Spell bomb. I think we're gonna cycle it on the end step of their turn. I don't think it's particularly close either because the saga can get another one. Mm, yeah, I think so. Uh, all right, so I guess they are, yeah. Oh, we're cycling. That's pretty good exchange for us. Another Urborg. Well, that's not the best. 
the the problems with running Erborg in your deck, or four copies, but it's kind of mandatory in this deck. God, don't have a a wear tear. All right, I think that's okay. Another spell bomb's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna play Dothy here. See if they have like a bolt or something for it. No. All right, well, that's decent. We also have Liliana next turn. The really, the really shitty way, but we have it. <laughs> the the player Borg, float of mana beforehand. Uh, play thought scour. Okay. Bolt, fine. And thought scour hit a phoenix. <sighs> Boo. Boo, opponent. And a Demi Lich. Jesus. <sighs> hmm. Well, how the heck do we deal with this? We can Nile Spellbomb them. But we're on a Raven's Crime first, to be honest. Yeah, let's Raven's Crime them first. What does this make? Two, three vampires? Okay. What are they discarding? Manamorphose. All right, Spell Bomb. Uh, we'll keep this herb or we'll cycle this. I guess we shouldn't have done it now. I was thinking in case we wanted to draw a land, but I forgot that we just played our land drop. So that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a total mistake. And it might just, uh, it might just lose us the game. Let's hope not. If we can stabilize this turn, we might be okay. Um. How do we stabilize from this position? I think we have to play Lily this turn. Soren down tick next turn. It's not great, but... Definitely not great. Especially if they're... Their hand's probably not bad. I think it might just be a prismatic ending for the Lily here. A faithful mending. Yeah, we're pretty dead. We're pretty dead. Double land. Don't be a salvaging. Oh, is this a prismatic ending? Oh my god, a anamorphose. All right. If they draw a spell or a land, we're dead. So pretty much their entire deck is live here. Oh my god, they whiffed. They're attacking us too. What was their what's their hand? Wow. That just Is it an Arc Light Phoenix? Might just be a Phoenix. Um, okay. I guess at this point, a wear tear. Yeah, okay, that also makes sense. Um Yes, we're just playing Soren and down ticking. Uh, just trying to keep this Lily alive. I mean, it's gonna be hard. Demi Lich is really good here. All right, just draw land, please. Just draw land, please. Smile. Nope. That looks like a bolt. Nope. Is a ball. <sighs> they always draw the good cards, man. Thought Scour. And they get to flash back the Mending at the very least to get back a Phoenix. Okay. I guess we are chumping the Phoenix. God, I don't have a land. Or I guess we're trading with the Phoenix. They're attacking us. Weird. 
Weird, but fine. Guess we, yeah, we, we might as well just kill off the Phoenix here. Surgical? Holy shit, that was pretty good. Um, all right, so we're playing Dothy for sure. I guess we're killing off of our, killing off our board. Yeah, or killing off our Planeswalkers here. We could tick up with Soren, but that just does not sound right. Does not sound right at all. We have this castle locked, Wayne. We can we can use this two three life linker to our advantage. I think we're gonna wait with the surgical. Land, fine. A bolt. Um, I guess we're popping the demi lich now then. Yeah. All right, so what is their deck? Um, it's the livest deck I've ever seen. 26 spells, or 26 cards, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lands, Jesus. Their, their deck is hot right now. Ah, that's insanity. Defile? Not bad. It's a minus four, minus four. We can also activate castle here. So I don't even know what we're looking for them to draw. One of their five lands, I guess. That's kind of crazy. All right. Uh, what do we want? Probably spell bomb. Or, you know, not those. Not those. I guess we want them just to draw phoenixes. We can deal with one phoenix here. Yeah, we can deal with a phoenix. <laughs> or they're drawing, again, <laughs> that, that, there we are. That's what we were looking for. Yep, count me in. Count me in. If that, if there was a draw we wanted, that was it. Um, I'm trying to, I guess they have endings. Yikes, that's, we don't deserve this game at all. I probably should just, um, Raven's Crime them just for, just for the shits and giggles. Not actually for the shits and giggles, but as, like, a, we take less damage off of our castle. They're milling us. Okay. Considering their options... Okay, I don't want to die to Bolt here, so I feel like they might have a Bolt too, no? Guess not. It might be a Phoenix. Oh, I can't cast Raven's Crime, oopsies, forgot about that. Well, Zigo. What is their hand? It can't be... Okay, Faithful Mending. They can't cast that from the bin. Um, we can activate Castle now without dying to Bolt. Is this a Prismatic? Mm. All right. I guess they're bopping our Graph Digger's Cage, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we're... Uh, Drawing a card. Verdant, not good. Verdants are not good. I mean, they're better than Swamp, I guess. Um, God, they have... This has been a, a game, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I say this is a good game or not, but it's something. Um, all right, I'm going to Raven's Crime them once and maybe twice. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do this twice and activate castle here.
God damn, bro. <laughs> We've found all of our lands. They've also found all their lands, but... And now they have a mending. What is this? An anamorphos. All right, I'm just gonna yield till um till blocks here. We're we're like we're so dead. Oh, I'll turn off all yields. Yield till there and or they have two phoenixes, and they're so likely to find another one. They discarded a bolt. I guess they have a bolt here. Yeah, all right, we're dead. That that was so bad. All right, <laughs> that feels so bad losing that game. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all in match number three or number two. Oopsies. Alrighty, we're here for match number two. We are on the draw, which is great, and we'll keep our starter. Our opponent mulliganed as well, which is mul mul mul. I don't really cheer for for mulling, but with eight rack, I kind of do. You know. It's not typically like I care too much if our opponent's on like you know seven. I I I'd rather them be on you know seven or or whatever. But with 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 eight rack like let's let let's mold a five, please. Oh, what is this? What is this? Liliana, not bad. Now let's just Inquisition see what's going on here. Unmarked grave, oval chase, daredevil. Well, ugh. Uh, is this reanimator? Oh, please don't play like an Emery. An Emery would be so good. Daredevil. Blood Fountain. Alright, they got combos. We got some cool stuff going on. That feels like card advantage, but I don't really know if it is. Um... Let's just play our racks out. I don't want to like potentially whiff with this Inquisition. There's definitely a chance that, you know, they're, it's going to be hard because this Oval Chase is just going to be floating around pretty much forever. So we kind of need our, you know, our um, uh, ba -ba -ba, Nile Spellbomb in the main to, to get us there. Our Urza's Saga. Would be pretty good. Mm, what's this? Okay, unmarked grave. They might have drawn the reanimation spell. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna inquisition them here. I guess. Yeah, might as well. They don't have it. It's fine. All right. Yeah, they have the persist. They also have the cookbook, which is not great. Not great for us. But racks are are here. God, please don't top deck it. Please don't top deck it. All right, Liliana is definitely a card. Ooh. Kind of like smallpox more. I guess we can do that next turn. We don't need this push. We can smallpox next turn. This is kind of awkward. They kind of want to discard the uh, oval chase here, but... Faithful Mending. Okay. It's fine with me. It's also awkward that they can sack this to get two things into their hand. But. Ooh, they can also gain three a turn. That's, yeah. It's getting more and more awkward. Although this is, you know. Guess, yeah, we're just going to tick up here. We're not going to have smallpox yet. We don't need to do that yet. They didn't loop, so that seems like a mistake. Uh, if we draw a land, we might want to play it. I don't think we would. All right, Raven's Crime is pretty good. So they're taking six here, and then I think next turn they're just dead. Four mana for Blood Fountain. Okay, it's fine. What do they return? No, they return their the big boy. So we can empty their hand out here. Uh, 
They can make a Saga token, but I don't think it's going to outrace us here, to be honest. To be quite frank, I don't think it's outracing us. Uh, yeah, it's Raven's Crime. Discard probably the uh, Archon, if I take a take a guess. Um, guess we can just do this. Yeah, we'll we'll funeral charm and then smallpox. Hmm. This is definitely an awkward situation. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. This whole this I feel like we've we've come up against two two decks that I don't really ever want to see. Um not gonna say that these are, you know, good or bad matchups, but it's kind of annoying to go up against the Oval Chase deck, because obviously Oval Chase is kind of insane against us. And Obviously, Arclight Phoenix is not the best thing either because, you know, they want to discard their spells anyways. So, they don't want to discard them, but, you know, they're fine discarding their spells. Um, yeah, now if they just get Shadow Spear, we might be completely dead here. But let's see. Let's see if they realize that line. They don't. Interesting. So now they're pretty dead to like 90% of our, our top decks. I mean, we obviously have some bad things that could happen here, but let's see. Any discard spell, any land, um, a Liliana. I guess Soren would be the worst top deck. Uh, a Rack kills them. Shrieking Affliction doesn't kill them. Spellbomb is a Cycler, I guess. We're going to cycle it. We want to find a land here. I mean, we're dead if they if they untap, so it's not like we're going to wait for this. Uh, so, yep. Come on, Cycler. Get us a land. Or, honestly, a land would be fantastic. Come on, land. Land. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. Tough game to lose. Tough game to lose. Golly, that feels so bad. Feels so bad to lose that one. All right. Another spirit out, surgical, dothies, and we'll bring in the package again. Um, Soren doesn't seem actually that great here. And I'm kind of cool on trimming push and defile and the charms. Uh, Pithy Needle might be okay. Might honestly be better than Spear. I'll do that. I don't think Shadow Spear is going to be terribly important here. Dothy is obviously the card we're looking for here. It's our it's our ley line of the void. So, all right, let's see. Hmm. Why did I choose to go first? That's just like second nature. I think we got the mulligan. Oh my god, this hand's so bad. Alright, <laughs> this hand's atrocious. Uh, you gotta keep these sometimes, though, and just kind of hope you get there. Sometimes you just gotta hope you get there. Urza Saga's a powerful spell, right? Right? Land? If we don't hit a land drop next turn, ugh. Ugh. oval chase. These are not the best matchups I've seen today. Oh, this is pain. This is pain. Pain you all. Pain and suffering. I'm so sad now. They discard oval chase daredevil. Ugh, prismatic ending. Uh, uh, uh. What do they have? A cookbook, maybe? 
pithy needle named Saga. All right, that's okay. And they get back their Daredevil. That's such a good, that's so bad against us. Like so bad for us. Land, yes. Okay, maybe we have a chance. Maybe we have a chance. Pass. Go. Go ahead. Daredevil. All right. Whatever. It's not that bad. That's pretty bad, but, I mean, we do have our Nile Spell Bomb to go get, so maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be fine. So we get the Float of Mana, get Nile Spell Bomb, pop it, presumably... All right, hell yeah. I guess we could get Graph Digger's Cage, but I think we're just gonna unburial rights. Sure. Sure. Why not? Dothy, oof. Oof, it's a good one. I guess we're ticking up and discarding smallpox, right? Um, spell bomb. it is. I guess we could just get the cage, but I kinda just wanna get spell bomb. We really could get the cage, but yeah, let's just get the spell bomb. I think this is okay. What are we doing? Okay. This is fine. Tick up. Get rid of the smallpox. Get that F6 value in. As Miranda Kudakar is in their deck. What are we up against? Um, are we supposed to pop this now? I guess so. I guess so. I'm not going to let them, I mean, re them reanimating their Daredevil is not, like, that strong, but kind of don't want them to do it. Um, I guess we're just going to Raven's Crime them. Raven's Crime, you, Asmo, down, Edict, good. All right, yeehaw. We are, we're doing the eight rack power. Land? It's not smallpox, ooh, Dothy. Yes, yes sir. Faithful Mending, oh God, please let us just hit your Archon. I don't know how we won this game on a mold of, fuck, uh, mold of six. I was going to say five, but six on the play. Our hand was not particularly strong either. Another daredevil. <laughs> We're at this point of the game, aren't we? Well, smallpox isn't great, but if they somehow kill one of our Dothies, we do have lethal next turn with it. So I guess that's that's something. All right. Well, we took that one down. Um, how do I want to sworn? It's probably better than a smallpox, to be to be completely honest. Honestly, torpor orb could be interesting, and so could EE. E. Nah, EE e could be interesting though. EE e on one might be good. That's probably better than smallpox. No opponent. They started no. All right, I definitely should have EE on one in this matchup. It's kind of weird that this deck has EE. Typically, you go with Ratchet Bomb because Ratchet Bomb can actually go up to one or two. But an R like that's just like super weird to me. But oh hell yeah! Oh and they mulliganed. Please, 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 deck, please don't be bad. Don't screw us too bad. We got double graveyard hate. Come on. Be kind to us. Don't, don't, don't lose this game, please. Oh my god, another Nile Spell Bomb. Um, yeah, we're Inquisitioning. Yeah, okay, Fracture, Double Persist. Uh, we don't care about Persist, so yeah. Take the Fracture. And have them not top deck, whatchamacallit, this turn? If they top deck Unmarked Grave this turn, it's going to be slightly awkward. But other than that, we should be, like, in business. Um, oh, do we want to play around a... Uh, 
Okay. Do we play around the top deck Faithful Mending? I'm not going to. That. Let's lose. If they drew Faithful Mending, you got us, opponent. I'll concede now. Holy Jesus. I'm like so afraid that's what was going to happen. All right. They played Marsh Flats, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Dothy's on the battlefield. We have another one, and we have two spell bombs. So I think our graveyard hate plan is online. So we just need to not lose to Asmo. And how can we do that? Oh my god, this is how we can do it. Holy Um yeah, we'll uh we'll cast your Archon. Yeah. Um okay. Cast. Okay. Play our spell bomb. They'll discard their Archon. Discard a Persist? Why not Archon? What? Does that make sense? Does that make any sense? You discard your reanimation spell and not your Archon of Cruelty. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Swing. That doesn't make any sense. Unless they had the freaking future sight of knowing we had a spell bomb, but um yeah, I don't know. That just is a little weird to me. But there goes Archon. Mmm, what's Raven's Crime you? Discard the Asmo. Oh uh, yeah, let's just not lose to like some really weird thing. Just play out our second spell bomb. We can almost let this persist resolve and probably still win the game. But we're just not going to let that happen. Alright. Wow. We take down that one. I will see you all in the third and final match. Alrighty. We're here for the third match. And we're on the draw. Hell yeah. That's what we want. We want to be on the draw. We don't want to We don't want to have that option. That's why it's the worst. I don't know if, if, if anyone in here is like a huge... Uh, oh my god. They moved the six. Five, 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 five. Not really, but five, five, five. No. Uh, if anyone does play eight rack, tell me if you if you're a take the draw type of person, because that, that's always what I do. I always take the draw. I know it's not like some crazy idea that I have, but I am kind of curious. I do know some people that play eight rack that want to go first, and I just I can't get behind it. But uh oh, is this burn? Please be burn. I love the burn matchup. Oh yeah, it's fun. I don't know if it's good for us, but it's um, it's fun. That's fun to say the least. Defile. Whew. They are probably so confused. <laughs> they stop for a second. They're reading defile. Yes, this is where we want to be. This is this is this is like the purest magic. They're probably so lost right now. This is like the best form of magic. Next turn, so turn one, we have, we have the lead on both swamps to defile the goblin guide. So we're gonna go swamp, rack, uh, turn two, defile, funeral charm. So, yep, there's the rack, they mold. So this rack might be able to outrace them, but uh, in this matchup, it, this, this usually is a very close matchup. It might be a lot better now that we have uh, Urza Saga plus Oh God, um, Shadow Spear. So that could be kind of a huge game for us, but our sideboard doesn't really have anything for this matchup. I'm assuming I'm bringing in EEs and that's it. Probably taking out the Thought Seizes. Um, let's see, don't know what else, but. All right, Defile looking good. So is Funeral Charm. So is Funeral Charm. I'm kind of curious if Defile is better than Push in this in this like particular meta. But uh, Goblin Guide, please be kind to us. Ooh, Urza Saga. That's not a bad one. We honestly might just play that out. Uh, we can't, right? There's no way that's correct. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, man. Smallpox is so, so good against this deck. So good. I think we're going to discard... I guess the Thoughtseize is just dead here. Oh, we probably should have played Castle, right? 
That was a, that was a punt. Exclamation point punt. Should have totally played the uh, the castle lock Thwain out here. But, you know, it's okay. The file is kind of dead now, but it's, again, it's fine. Uh, if we really want to, we can, you know, Funeral Charm plus Defile, but that's not particularly that strong. It is what it is. Like, it happens. Like, you can't really do much about it, so. Rack is online, though. I mean, I, I could have done something about it. I just played badly there. It's these small things. Like, with new cards that I don't really play with, it's kind of difficult to to say whether or not I'm, you know, choosing the correct lines, but for that in particularly, like, this would be such a good position. Just go Swamp, Defile. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. If we draw Swamp, this is pretty good for us. If not, we're just going to go Saga Go, I think. We might just Funeral Charm here. Why is this, like, flashing? Just epilepsy warning not really but oh my god I, I need to stop doing that oh my god uh all righty opponent let us go to our turn please please yeah that was so bad so bad such a bad discard or such a bad land drop for the turn okay well that's good defile okay We got lucky. We're not good, you know. Play bad, get rewarded anyways. Uh, they're on a. They're okay. Their last card was Bolt. Yeah. All right. So it's a race to see who can draw more Bolt effects. So because we have a constant Bolt effect. Um, I think we're winning this race regardless. Let's see if we play this out. That gives us three turns. No, if they draw three bolts, we die. So maybe I shouldn't be playing the saga out here, but I will. Liliana. Okay, skull cracks fine. We're still gonna take up Lily. No real reason not to. We need them to draw a. We need them to draw a land. Oh, uh, one reason to play this out is it is good against a blocker next turn, or an attacker. It's not good against an attacker this turn, though. So, we kind of need to... If if we can fade a, an attacker this turn, it's fine. Next turn, it's not, not uh, relevant. Or next turn, it's... We need to fade a blocker. Yeah, we need to fade an attacker this turn, not next turn. Next turn, we'll have a, a blocker. Alright, they conceded. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's get into the sideboarding here. EE -E is obviously a fine card, not amazing. Uh, I think we are trimming on our two thought eases for it. And uh, I guess we can bring a spell bomb in as a cycler. I guess. Like, it cycles. It doesn't deal two damage to us. I, I guess this is fine. I don't really know. Uh, this EE is still, this EE is not very good either. Um, I almost feel like the Thoughtseizes could be better, so it, if if you kept the Thoughtseizes in, I wouldn't like, say you're wrong, because the cards we have in replacement are equally as shitty, but um, yeah. yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this hand. It's really good if we hit a land drop, because we have the combo, I'm not going to call it a natural combo, but Smallpox plus another Spirit is pretty darn good uh, it's not like game game breaking but uh, it is pretty darn good okay please just like suspend a rift bolt suspend rift bolt please Noah. <laughs> Noah. goblin guide rip is he up there Noah. Ooh, smallpox on top. R.I.P. R.I.P. That is not what we want to see. Uh, honestly, I guess we're fetching and what? I guess I want to play... 
Raven's Crime here. Because I'm just going to assume we're drawing the land. Because I think if we're not drawing the land, we're losing this game. So A Helix. All right. I think that's fine, you know. Like we we kind of have to assume we're drawing the land, or right we're at, we were probably actually dead here. Like playing the EE on one, I don't know what that does. It uh, it it assumes we're drawing a land to pop it for the Goblin Guide. So either way, it just does not seem strong at all. Prowess creature, Goblin Guide. All right, two land drops, or we're actually dead. What? Oh, land? What's the next one? Reveals the rack. All right. Um. Oh, man. My dog. My parents' dog. Um, how are we supposed to play this? I guess EE -E on one is the way to go. Honestly, maybe smallpox is the way to go. I'm just going to smallpox here. I 100% I can agree that this is bad for us, but I almost don't think playing EE -E out is good for us. So I'm convincing myself that this is the best play we have. It's probably not, but we, we, we again still need lands, I think. And I think the way we cheese the opponent out is by going double smallpox and ripping a land off the top and them not having any more lands after this. And if they do have a land, they have the option of spell over land here. And, like, keeping a spell in their... Or keeping a land in their hand is, like, kind of risky because if they don't draw something, then they're probably losing the game. But I think this is the higher upside. And considering we're already in a shitty position, I think I'm going with this. All right, they sack... Wow, they sacked their Swiss beer. I mean, I guess that makes sense. All right. Don't. I mean, it's going to be hard for them to kill us this turn, but Goblin Guides, be nice. Give us a land drop, please. Land drop me. Smile. Yay. Land drops. Yay. Um, Bolt us. Okay. Attack. Fine. No, it's a lily on a block. Book. All right. Uh, I guess we're playing Shrieking Affliction. Okay, they have one card in hand. They have one card in hand. Nether Spirit comes back. Um, we're at two. Okay. I mean, we might be okay here. If their hand, if their last card in hand is a two drop, then we're fine. Well, we're not fine. We're alive. Uh, if their last card is not a two drop, then we're just dead. Yes. Oops. We draw our lily, which is useless. Play our shrieking affliction. Pass the turn. Don't have a bolt. <laughs> Please, opponent. Honestly, just have a two drop, draw a two drop. We go smallpox, win the game. That is, that is the recipe to success here, right? That is our that is our way of winning this game. Also, like, good thing to note here is if we did go E on one, they had the smash for it. We didn't know that. Honestly, I didn't think they'd bring smash in against us. I kind of see how that makes sense, but um, just just something small. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. All right, let's see. Are we dead? Are we dead, opponent? Shit, we're dead. Right there, there's like no spell in their hand. No, it was a skull crack. No. All right, we'll concede before they attack. Give them less information. Was our top card to land? Oh, it was. We had that turn. If we would have got, if we would have made it past that turn, I think we win. All right. Um. Yeah, we're keeping our deck as is. All right. You know, it's really awkward to think about our like our deck here it's like we're on eight rack but like how do we win like i'm just looking at this deck list and we have like no discard spells we have what three four plus three 
plus so 10 discards like essentially 18 discard spells this just feels so weird i'm so used to like playing wrench mine and you know four inquisition four thought sees um just stuff like that it just feels weird to not be on so many disc like and we have like this package which feels mediocre I don't know. It's just, it's weird to be playing a modern version of this deck. Um, all right. I, oh, I should have, I should have gone second. I'll keep this hand though. Herb works pretty good. Liliana plus Nether Spirit's also pretty sweet. So, I feel like I should have gone second, but maybe not. Against Burn, it's a little bit closer. Against Burn, it is close. And we definitely want to play the Verdant here, or not the Verdant, the Urborg, because we don't want to, we don't want to have to fetch for this Verdant. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we have a one land hand and a Swiss Spear, and that is it. Double Smash. So, all right, we're feeling pretty good about this. So let's just play around Smash. It's that simple, right? <laughs> it's that simple. Oh no, don't tell me Drew Goblin Guide or something. Although Goblin Guide's really not that bad, but Rift Bolt, yep, yeah, okay. Rift Bolt hitting the suspend. Land would be fine. <sighs> Man, it's a good one. I'm gonna wait to play it. They do have smashes, which are awkward with this card. So I kind of don't wanna play out Saga. Honestly, we might just fail to find with Saga. Because that just turns off two of their three damage effects, which is, like, kind of huge. Or we could just get Spell Bomb. Honestly, getting Spell Bomb is probably okay. But if we draw a land, obviously we're, like, in such a good spot because we get to go Lily, Tick Up. We don't even have to play the Saga yet, and then we can make them discard their Smash. I mean, at least that's my intuition would be discarding Smash. And then they discard the other Smash on the next turn, and then we play Saga. But we might just need to play the Saga anyways. Okay, they drew the land, which is kind of good. Kind of good, kind of not. Let's see, if it's a um, Eidolon, it's a little awkward. But even that's not terribly awkward. It might just be Bolt Skewer here. They do have one mystery card, so. Well, let's see. We got two lands and what are we doing? We really don't want to we really don't want to expose anything to smash. So I do think we're on the on the don't run out an artifact game plan. Uh it's really awkward, but I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna run this out. I don't know, keep them having them keeping the the smashes in their hand is like really really awkward like really awkward I, I assume they're discarding one of them right okay they discarded that uh oh yeah they discarded that one so they have one smash in their hand i can't imagine keeping the other smash in your hand next turn either but we'll see okay they drew another land so they have Smash Mystery Card. We might just play out the second Lily here. Just get rid of their hands. And then I'm assuming they didn't they don't have more than two uh two smashes in their deck, right? That would just be a little awkward. They could have three. Three could make sense. But I, I'm more of the thought that they probably only brought two in. Maybe maybe they brought three in. That's I don't know. It's definitely a sketch. <sighs> Definitely sketch regardless. Best draw would be Soren here. Just making a 2-3 lifelink here would be huge. Huge. Okay. J Moore. CU88. CU88. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What are they thinking about? Are they thinking about cracking canopy here? Okay, they play Goblin Guide. Well, that's good for us. 
That means we just get to make we start we did start pumping tokens out. That's that's pretty great for us. And then we just go get Shadow Spear. Yeah. And they they would have to they'd have to draw a smash here to not lose. Funeral charm. Oh baby. That's a good one. That's a good one. So we're gonna discard Lily here. Funeral. No, we could down. That's awkward, right? No, I get. No, we're 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 ticking up. Yeah, we're hundred percent ticking up. Hundred ten percent ticking up. I forgot we had the uh, the nether spirit in our bin. Hundred ten percent ticking up. Making them discard in their upkeep. We ditched the lily because it's irrelevant. We could save it for the plus two, minus one mode, but I don't think that's worth it. Well, they might crack the uh, canopy here, and then I guess we can just make them discard that card. They know we have the Funeral Charm, so it's kind of awkward. Alright, so they are cracking it now. We might as well as make them discard. What was it? It was Wooded Foothills. Meh. It's alright. Uh, it'd be hard for me to see a, a world where we're losing this game, but I think it involves them sma getting a smash to smithereens. Yield until the end step here. Alright, they say GG's. Oof. Tough game, tough game for both of us, I think. E, e awkward, Raven's Crime. Well, that felt good. That felt good. So, uh, yeah, that was our little experiment with Aerax. Still seems pretty decent. I don't think I'd be playing the Sorn in the deck, though. Although, it, it does seem pretty sweet. I'd be running something close to this. I think you could trim the Sorn for, I don't know, more discard spells. Uh, main deck, I think I would either... I think I would just decide to not run Nile Spellbomb in the main. And that gives you two slots. And maybe trimming a land like this Mistress Factory. Like Mistress Factory is fine, but I think Saga is just like your creature land these days. And then I'd be playing, you know, three more discard spells, whether that wants to be like French Mine or, you know, Inquisition or Thoughtseize. Kind of just depends. It's kind of up to you. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, Yep, like, comment, subscribe. See you all in the next one.